you have an interview coming up, you're overwhelmed, you don't know where to start, but you want to prep. Well, today I'm going to teach you how to jumpstart your interview prep, so stay tuned. Sometimes, even when we're given fair warning about an upcoming interview and we have loads of time to prep, we put it off and put it off until the day before or even the day of the interview. And so, yes, you got it right. It's the big P word, procrastination gets the better of us. In today's video lesson, we're talking about ways to prevent procrastination so that you can jumpstart your preparation for the upcoming interview in a way that's going to be so painless and so easy, giving you reasons to get excited about the interview. You're going to want to invest in doing really well so that you can shine your brightest six learners. These five steps to conquering procrastination in your interview prep process are what's going to launch your process. It's going to develop the momentum you need to get the ball rolling and to feel at ease because that's how you're going to do your best. Step one, figure out the company's mission. You can find this by going to their website. Sometimes they'll have a designated tab for mission and in which case that makes it really easy for you to find it. Other times it will be less obvious. You might have to go to their about page or maybe you find a message from the founder, the CEO, the head honcho, whoever that may be. And there, they would probably give something alluding to what they are aspiring to do or how they're adding value to people's lives. What is their goal? What is their mission? What is their objective? Why is this important? It reveals a whole lot about their ethos and their culture, and it will provide a lot of information that you can give during the interview. It will help formulate your responses to the questions, and it will help you more eloquently speak about how you can add value and hopefully your mission and their mission align. And that would be the great scenario. Also, it gives you a glimpse into their cultural ethos and their corporate world or their startup world. And it allows you to make a decision as to whether you actually want to work there, right? Because this is a conversation. It's both sides trying to find whether you guys are a good match. Step two figure out the company's product. Now, in some companies, it might not be a product necessarily that they're selling. It might be services. So in that case, you would figure out what the services are. If it is a product that is being sold, then figure out if there's a demo available. This is especially easy if it's an online subscription-based service. Sometimes they'll give you a month free or a five-day or seven-day trial period free of charge. So Definitely check that out so that you can, again, speak intelligently and thoughtfully about the product because, of course, they're going to ask you, have you tried our product in the interview? And even if they don't, then you can show them that you've researched their product, you checked it out, you interfaced with it, and you can speak to the user experience. You can speak to how it was when you, you know, signed up and you used the product and the impressions that you made. You absolutely need to educate yourself as to what they're selling, be it a product or a service. That way you can get to the heart of their business. Step three, find out who their competitors are. Who are they competing against? Do they have a monopoly over the market? Do your market research. This will be very useful to you in the interview and also it will help you understand what they're doing and where the gaps are. Maybe there's a huge opportunity in that space. Maybe the market is already saturated. So you have to figure out what is it that differentiates them from their competitors? What is their secret sauce? To do this, run a simple Google search by typing in company X, the name of the company, and then figuring out who the competitors are in that industry. So you can do product and industry research. Take notes just like you did with the product and the demo about who these competitors are, what's the market, what does the industry look like on a whole, and then you'll be able to more easily speak to the gaps, how to maybe further differentiate themselves, what's working, what doesn't seem to be working, and ultimately how they're going to be different 
from the other people out there, right? Because why would you go with their product or their service over another company? What's the reason? So you have to figure that reason out. And if there's not a good enough reason, then maybe you can add value in the interview and ultimately if you get hired, when you get hired in that position. So that is the mindset we want to have while we're doing these steps, because this is a great exercise to do that will help set you up for going into more of the specifics concerning the interview. And that's what we're going to talk about in the next video that comes after this lesson. So sum up strategy three, we're going through and trying to figure out who the other key players are in this space. And then to speak thoughtfully and give your own ideas, your brilliant ideas about how to make it better and differentiate themselves even further. Step four, what is your narrative? Where do I fit in? This is what you need to ask yourself. Now that you have a clearer understanding about the vision and the mission and the objectives and the product and the services, you are in a much better place to ask, where is my story in all of this? So to do this, you start off with asking the simple question, where do I fit in? The way you're going to be able to answer this question is by thinking about the value that you can add. And this is based on your experience, your XP, your background, your education, your ideas, maybe something that you've experienced, maybe something that you've read about and you're educated in, right? All of these elements help us think about the value that we bring to the table. Could be even your amazing creativity. Right? These are all really important things to help take the company to the next level. Because ultimately, that is why they're seeking out this interview with you. That is why they're thinking about hiring you. So give them a really good reason and make it easy for them to say yes to you. To do step four, I want you to start typing out a couple of your ideas about the narrative. What is your story? So don't go too crazy with this because the idea is to <laughs> make it easy and not overwhelming you with all of the information here, but instead think of it as a brainstorm session. I absolutely love brainstorm sessions. They're very similar to what you experience in a deep conversation because it's unfettered access to all your creativity and no idea is too big, no thought is too crazy, no dream is too out there. So channel that and really that is how your ideas are going to start coming and flowing through you. So make sure you take the time to brainstorm and just start typing out a couple of your thoughts, your thinking points, which will ultimately evolve into your talking points for your interview and frame it with the understanding of the value you bring to the table. Step five, the last step in this interview prep phase one. So for this, I want you to start thinking about the answers, the potential answers that you are going to create. So you begin shaping answers. Now, of course, we don't know the questions ahead of time, and that is okay, but think back to other interviews. Use common sense for this as well. And a great starting point and the way you'll be guided into what kinds of questions you'll probably be getting is through the job description. And of course, you're not going to be talking about a Broadway show. You're going to be talking about you and your experience. So you know the subject. You know what you're applying for. The rest you can kind of connect the dots with. So that is really important to just make sure that you're not trying to go on the internet and answer every single question in the common questions asked in an interview because that will not be a great use of your time. Instead, we're talking about working efficiently and effectively so that we can really optimize here, right? And not expend all this energy that we don't need to be expending in the first place. I don't want you to feel intimidated by this step. Really, all it is is that you start to see how your answers could start taking shape. We've broken it down into manageable steps. So I want you to make sure that at any point at, during this prep phase one, with these five steps that you're not getting overwhelmed. If you're starting to feel overwhelmed, then take a step away from your brainstorming and come back with a calm, fresh mind and a good attitude because otherwise it's just going to be time that you throw out the window. So we don't want to do that, but 
Really, I want you to think of the types of questions you'll get and then how you can answer them using the knowledge you have now about the company, the services, what they offer, the products, and then your story, right? So coming together, you ask yourself, based on what I know about this company and the products and the services they offer, where does my story fit in all of this? How do I shape my answers to the questions? And this step is key because it allows you to weave in all the things that you'd like to say about how you add value to the potential questions you'll be getting asked based on the job description and what the company is about, right? So you see, it's not about trying to figure out, oh, what question are they going to ask me? Are they going to ask me this? Are they going to ask me that? No, it's not about that. It's about who they are, who you are, how you can work together, how you can fit in, how you can add value. Now, when you do this, I want you to treat it as a brainstorm session. Start thinking about shaping your answers, but don't go crazy with this. You are not, not, not scripting out your answers. We don't do that, explorers, because then we fall into the trap of trying to memorize our answers because we think, you know, we spent so much time typing them out in prose in paragraph form that, okay, well now I have to memorize this. Otherwise it would have been a waste of time, right? That's the thinking. That's the way we justify the reason for spending all that time typing out answers that we try to memorize verbatim. And we don't want that cognitive dissonance. So again, we're working smart here. So that is why you come up with just a few bullet points and really try to grasp the concepts, maybe abstract ideas, but the most important thing here is to be on the same page with them and to be able to verbalize and express the value that you can add based on the narrative that you've woven and also who they are. So to sum up strategy five, we are keeping in mind two things. What you've learned about the company, the product, the services they offer, and two, your story, your narrative, how you fit in. Let's quickly recap before we go. The problem that we're trying to solve is to overcome inertia when we're faced with the interview prep process. So you have an upcoming interview and you are frozen, you're overwhelmed, you don't know what steps you should take to get the ball rolling on preparing for the interview. So instead of waiting a day before or the day of your interview to start figuring out what you're going to say or what you might be asked or even researching the company, you're starting as soon as possible. And we've broken it down into five manageable steps. Doing these steps in phase one will really help get you the momentum you need so that you can get the ball rolling to be able to dive into even further, more specific elements of the prep process that you'll be using in the interview. And that is something we're discussing in the next video after this one. So make sure that you stay tuned for that so that you can really use both of these lessons to help you prep in a smart, efficient, effective way. So that is the solution to overcoming inertia and fighting procrastination by doing these five steps because the best thing to do is to take action. And if you feel like you have a lot of time before the interview, let's say the interview is not for another month, then you can do step one, one day, step two, another day. So you break it down into different days. But if you really only have a week before you need to go in for the interview, then I would try to do all five steps in one day. Give yourself time though. It really depends on you and how much time you have to devote to this. But really, as soon as you can start, as soon as you're notified about the interview, take action. The worst thing you can do is put it off and procrastinate because what that will end up doing is getting you more stressed because you're building up hype around it. Basically, a, a good practice is to do the thing that scares you most, the thing that you don't want to do. So it's sort of like you're parenting yourself, right? You're, no one's going to tell you what you need to do, not in as adult in any way. So you have to take it upon yourself to do that thing that you most dread, right? And so for a lot of us, it's prepping for an interview because it's very uncomfortable. But you know what? If you don't prep for the interview, it's going to be loads more uncomfortable when you're actually sitting in the hiring manager's office and you don't know what to say and you don't know how to react and you don't know how to respond. So we're avoiding that obviously by doing these steps, by taking action, 
today. And you'll have fewer reasons to feel nervous, scared, intimidated. You're going to go in there and you're going to be like conquering this interview today with a good mindset and a positive attitude. All right, Explorers, thank you so much for choosing to spend time with me today. That is a wrap on this lesson. If you found this video valuable, then do give it a like. It means so much to us. And feel free to take a screenshot with your camera, post it on social media, and tag us so that we can share it in our stories. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button so that you get the latest and greatest of our video lessons about communicating with confidence, authenticity, and poise. And I will see you in the next video. Happy exploring.